Alright guys, so this is another home from Newburn that we definitely want to get rid of. We want to sell this home. We've had it in inventory for too long, so we've got to get rid of it. Um, but it is a really unique home, and we really, really like this home. We just need to sell it. We've sold off of it, and it's been a real popular seller, but we've time to sell this one. But that being said, if you really would like to order it with different colors, you really could, but don't do that. Order <laughs> by this one. If you're east of I-95 in North Carolina, this is the house for you. Um, it's three bedrooms, two baths, and has a really nice surprise in the utility room. But I really like this island and how much space it gives to this kitchen. It is a massive island with two bookshelves on either side, and you can fit probably three bar stools here. I mean, it just makes it really, really nice. Again, just like you saw in the other video, well, I don't know if you've seen that one yet or not, but if you haven't, look for the Hatteras video. It has cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. I really, really like that because it gives you some extra space up top for stuff that you don't necessarily use every day. Again, we do have the drawer over door um, in this home that is really nice. It leaves you with a ton of cabinets. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cabinets. I'm oh, no, sorry, eight drawers in this kitchen. We do have the built-in microwave. We have the flat top stove. I know I'm going very quickly. Um, <laughs> we do have these two transom windows underneath the cabinets in the kitchen. I really, really like that feature. This one actually has a pantry as well. So you do have a full walk-in pantry that can store all of the goodies. If you like canning, if you like storing food, whatever you need to do, you still have that option in this home. I really like that. So you do have kind of a separated area with a door. You have your double uh, door refrigerator, again, with the cabinets above all the way to the ceiling. And you have so many plugs in this uh, kitchen. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plugs that I see, eight. <laughs> eight plugs in this kitchen. So you have tons of space and tons of, um, you know, Things to plug in if you need to plug in. Uh, one thing that we do like is the dishwasher, and we do have a farmhouse sink in this as well. So it comes with appliances, guys. I know a lot of people have asked that, you know, do the appliances come with the home? They do, they really do. They come with the microwave, you know, with the stove, the refrigerator, any appliances that you see in the tours is what appliances come with that home in particular. And we can also, you know, if it doesn't have a built-in microwave, you can add that in a lot of homes. If it doesn't have a dishwasher, you can add that. Uh, so coming back this way, I guess we'll make, a, make it around the big old bar. Um, we'll take a look at the master. I want to take a look in here before we go back to what I like to say the best feature of this house is. Coming on in, we did put the chair railing, which just adds a, a just a little bit of character in these homes that you normally don't see. I really like that. We have the double pane windows. Again, I don't know if you've seen my videos recently, but I talked about that we order double pane windows or thermal pane windows in our homes, in all of our homes. From starter to most expensive, we order these windows because it just makes life better for you down the road. Saves you a ton of money and energy costs. So that is just something we do for our customers. Coming on in, this bathroom has a really good size to it. It has a massive tub and a tiled walk-in shower. So you're gonna see the camera lady. She doesn't like that, but there's a giant mirror over the bathtub and she really can't, <laughs> really can't control that. But if you come on in, we will show you that it does have his and her sinks that you just saw. And we do have a nice tile shower kind of tucked away here in the corner. It's not massive like some you've seen, but I think I like it better just so it's less to clean, in my opinion. Uh, we do have a separated uh, toilet room, so it is very nice to be able to shut the door and do what you've got to do. We do have a really good size walk-in closet here as well. And, you know, just tons of space for you and uh, your wife or partner. And we have a lot of storage there. Massive tub. I don't know if you guys saw that, but massive, massive tub. And his and her sinks with the, um, the what is this called? <laughs> Countertop? Uh, vanity, maybe? <laughs> 
<laughs> you will vanity. Sorry, guys. I have a brain fart every once in a while. Um, but just a really, really nice master bath. Again, this house is for sale off of our lot. We want to sell this one and stick around. I'll, I'll go over pricing with that as well. Uh, so let's go look at the other two bedrooms and my favorite far, far part of this. <laughs> Here is the dining room. I really like that. It has a separated dining room. You do have a lot of space with the beautiful flooring and everything. So this is our secondary bath. It's actually a really good size. We have a medicine cabinet that is put in over the toilet, which just kind of tucks everything away really nice and neat. You do have a standard shower and tub combo with a porcelain sink and uh, the cabinet here that is hardwood. Uh, we do have built-in mirrors and it's just a really nice secondary bath. So coming on in here, this is one of the three bedrooms. Well, this is the second one. You saw the master already. Again, a lot of natural light. I love that they did the chair rail in here. It just classes everything up. Uh, I don't know if you could use that word in that context, but oh well. <laughs> so if you come in here, we do have a good closet. It's just a normal closet from side to side, but there is still enough space, especially for a kid, uh, to, to store everything that you might need in there. So, go into the third bedroom. I like that they put this sconce here in the hallway just to kind of give it some extra light when it's powered up. Uh, and if you look, I, I just want to show this real quick. Um, this is a full two by four interior wall. So whenever this is put together, it actually makes, this is, I talked about this in another video. It actually makes a two by eight interior wall of your home. So you're actually getting a really, really strong home because when these two put together, it just makes the whole home more structurally sound because you have a, just more wood in it. Just, it's just, you know, simple math, more wood, stronger home. Coming on in again, same size as the other. And we also have a closet in here that is the same size as the last one. Sorry guys, I'm working through this one, but I just, you know, <laughs> just wanted to show you guys this. So we come back here, this is my favorite part of this whole house. You have a separated entrance and then you have a really nice utility room. I really like that you have the washer and dryer area there and you have actual countertop space back here and a deep sink if you need to wash off boots, you know, clean puppies, clean babies, whatever you need to do in the sink is perfect for that. And you also have a nice window looking out your property when you do it. There's also another great thing about this room is another closet for storage. So this house does not lack in storage space. If you need more than that, Maybe it's time for a yard sale. Um, <laughs> we do have a lot of cabinets. We have the space underneath here as well. Um, so just, I really, really like this end of the home because you, you, you use a utility room, and I call it a mud room. You doesn't, this home might, this house might get dirty, or this part might get dirty, but you can shut the door and nobody has to see this end of the home. <laughs> so it makes it really, really nice. Um, coming in here, we'll do a final little notation on this home. Uh, again, I wanted to look at this beautiful kitchen. Uh, this home is uh, 28 by 56. It's about 1,500 square feet, uh, which to me is like the perfect size. Uh, it's a really good size home. And like I said, we are ready to sell it off of our lot, ready to go right now. Come buy it, please. Um, that is in our New Bern location. We are off of Highway 17 in New Bern. If you know anything about the city, if you're leaving New Bern, heading towards Pollocksville and Maysville, then we are on that main drag of road. Um, again, all of the contact information will be listed below for this home if you want a full turnkey price on this home. But as this house sits on its own, no land improvements, no home improvements, no anything, just on our lot, you're starting in the 80s. So that kind of gives you a price point to go off of. If this is even reasonable for you, we'd love for you to call and get a full turnkey price. So that way you know exactly what you're spending on a beautiful home like this. We can put it on your property and starting in the 80s. And that's, and I'm, I said that wrong, I apologize. 
if starting in the 80s as a home only or just the home with all the improvements you will have to call the number down below so do that schedule a tour to come look at it in person we'd love to see you here in new Bern. um so guys we really really appreciate you watching our videos remember to subscribe to us on youtube like us on facebook and click that little notification bell so the next time we upload a video you will be notified so we'll see you next time all right guys bye bye